we're back with another black and white uh, Let's Play episode. Um, this is number seven here. And right off the bat, um, before we're allowed to go into the gym, we're gonna have to challenge N here. Um, so his first, he's up to three guys now, and his first guy is gonna be a P Dove. Um, yeah, this shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, if you're just leveled up like I am, but even then, um, level 13 is pretty low for this part of the game, so you should be able to take care of this guy pretty easily. Um, next up is a Temple uh, for his team. Uh, once again, uh, really easy to take out. Um, and leave that right here. All it took was one double kick. Pretty good. Um, and his last guy is a Timber, so uh, fairly bulky, but really slow, so shouldn't have too much of a problem with this guy either. And when you finish off uh, N here, uh, you're going to get $1,300 uh, dollars for winning, um, and and walks off once again, just about. Um, mentioned something about Reshiram, um, which is one of the legendary dragons. So what you do is come in here and this guy um, takes you on a tour of the museum. Um, and he mentions that this rock right here is just a regular old stone and you'll find out later that it, it is not. And you will find out that his gym, the gym leader here, sorry, is his wife, which is kind of weird because she's a big black woman. <laughs> um, so as usual, uh, talk to Clyde here, pick up um, your fresh water, uh, and so all you have to do. Um, this is a normal gym, um, and it's kind of like. A, a riddly kind of gym because you have to open up books I guess and use the clues in there um, to find the next book you need to open and you need to do it in a certain order for the work and whatnot. Um, so this guy is just pretty sure this is just a single book on this guy, guy's team. Um, he uses protect which is stupid attack on the world and then I take him on with double kick. Um, so yeah, just uh, read this first one here on the left, um, and it says, here's this question here, and what is the first book one you met, you met in the gym, and so now you have to find a book about Petrat, because the first book one in this gym is Petrat, and this one is the book about Petrat, so just read it, um, and you find the second question, um, it says something about flame coming out of its head or something like that. I don't know. I didn't see the whole thing, but um, you have to talk to this guy here. And it turns out that the riddle was about a locomotive, and you have to fight this guy before you can read the next book. Um, so just one guy, Herdier. I think that's the way you say it. I don't know. Canadian, right? Herdier. A little bit of French. Yeah, uh, easy KO here, uh, nothing too tough yet, and now they step down off the shelf, and you go up there and read the book. Smoke from its head, flames body, that's what it is. If you heat up the pot, it'll be delicious. Um, some sort of food, I think it has something to do with, I think it's a poffin book. There you go, yeah. And now you're on the last one, which is obviously the last book that you can um, find. It gives you some directions, but it's not that hard to figure out that this is the last one. Uh, just answer yes to her question, and you'll challenge her. Now she's got three guys. First is a lily pop, level 15. Uh, really easy to take down. No problem at all. Take care of that guy. Uh, grow up to level 26 here. Pretty good. Uh, 
another lily pop here. I'm pretty sure she has one more lily pop. Yeah, there you go. One more. Um, and once again, take care of that really easily. Um, so now she'll uh, get off the ladder. And you're going to be able to go to the book and read the book. And now there's like a little switch, and you push it, and the entire bookcase moves. So, uh, yeah, you'll be able to go down there, and the gym leader will be waiting for you. Fancy 3D graphics with books falling over. Um, I missed the stairs there. Nice. Okay, and you head down here. Um, and you're ready to take on the gym leader. Make sure you save first. And here we go. Um, so you're taking on leader Lenora, which especially looks a lot like Aunt Jemima, but uh, it'll be for another day. Um, she'll lead off the level 8 from her deer. Um, unfortunately, it has Intimidate, uh, which I was not ready for. So I'm pretty sure it's still an OH. OHKO here, um, because we fear it's just that much of a boss. And now our second guy is Watchog. I think I send. Nope, I don't. Um, level 20. Um, this guy likes to use Hypnosis, so that's usually what he uses right off the bat. Watch out for that if you aren't fast enough and powerful enough to take it on one hit. But I am, and that is all she wrote for Lenora. Um, so we're going to pick up our second badge here. Um, another one of those long and skinny ones, uh, which is too bad. Like I said, I don't really like the design of those, but that's all right. And she'll also give you uh, Retaliate, TM67, uh, which is a pretty good attack, especially for um, normal types. I'm pretty sure base power is 70. Um, and now this guy comes down the stairs and he says that Team Plasma is taking the bones from the Dragonite sculpture in the main museum part. So what you have to do is head out there and you're gonna come down here, hear the plasma music, and you're gonna see these guys um, taking the Dragonite skull. And they send up their smoke screen, and then we can't see a thing, and all of a sudden, the head is gone, and so are the, so are the grunts. Sorry. And the Nora is just kind of freaking out right now, and she sprints out of there. That was pretty fast. Um, I don't know how she can move that fast, but um, we'll head her out here, uh, meet up with Lenora. And this other guy here comes up. Um, turns out his name is Artie, or Berg, sorry. I don't know. Um, I think Artie is the Japanese name. I don't know why I thought of that. But, um, and then Be Bianca ends up showing up here along with Charon. Um, so yeah, they um, plan on splitting up and trying to hunt down the grunts. And now we're going to go off with Berg to uh, find those guys in Pinwheel Forest. Um, so right now, uh, they just gave us the dowsing machine, which is basically an item finder. Um, and it'll show you exactly where all the items are, all the hidden items are. So if you haven't picked up that Ultra Ball over to the left of here on the patio, um, you can use your dowsing machine right now to pick that up. There are a couple more hidden items around here. Um, there's one kind of in the left part of the city here. I think I go to grab that right now. Yeah. So just on your bottom screen, it'll show exactly um, what direction you have to go in. Uh, so you can just pick it up. And you can have it on all the time, which is pretty cool. Um, so you don't have to worry about turning it on and off all the time. Berg here says that we have to split up. He says he's going to take the easy road, and I have to take the hard one. Um, so, yeah, we got uh, 
a double battle here. Um, <laughs> kind of outmatched here a little bit because they both resist my uh, my stabs for both my Pokemon. So made a safe state there really quick just in case something weird happened uh, because Razor Leaf is hits both Pokemon uh, and again I could take a fair bit of damage from that, but after this I see that uh, it does a good chunk of damage to them, so I won't have to worry about that. Um, and like I said, these guys get Razor Leaf at a really low level, so they're actually a decent choice if you're looking for a bug or a grass type. Um, they evolve uh, fairly early, uh, and the final evolve of this is actually pretty strong. So we'll just quickly finish this off. Take care of both of them. And now there's a grunt down here, so we'll fight him. Only got one Pokemon, so it's a sand dial, so easy KO. Even with the intimidate. Gonna take out one hit. here. Uh, fight the next guy. There's actually a lot of uh, trainers in this kind of area here, so um, don't hesitate to head back out and talk to the trainers right outside the forest uh, to heal up. One thing that's nice about this generation is that poison damage doesn't get taken off as you're walking, so if you get poisoned, um, you don't lose HP as you, um, as you walk which is kind of nice, it's always been like that since Gen 1, um, and I always thought it was kind of dumb that you could, your Pokemon could die just by walking around. So we're facing a Ranger here, we'll be able to take that pretty rail in one hit, I'm pretty sure that's his only guy. Um, and then, uh, you always want to make sure you talk to these Rangers afterward, because they're going to give you berries. Just pick up this item here. Keep going, fight this guy to your two. Another bit of youngster action here. And Menipede, not really friend here, but go for the low sweep. Just to get some damage in on him. You know, all that stuff. And here I get poisoned. You'll be able to see that I don't take any damage as I walk. I'm pretty sure I just leave after this. Get the nurse to heal me up. Uh, anyways, back over here to Timber. Um, and that thing will easily die to a water pulse to the base. Um, oh, no, I don't go heal. Okay. Um, I think there's somebody hiding underneath that little pile of whatever on the right there. Pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. Um, I just set up my dowsing machine there really quick. And this one has one guy. Um, which will die easily to a low sweep to the base. Um, and we'll just pick up that Chesto Berry that the Ranger so kind kindly gave us. Um, and another one hiding underneath there. They're just waiting for us. This one's got a pan for. Really easy. These are really frail, so we shouldn't have any trouble taking them out. Um, and this person will give us a fetch berry, so I kind of forget what that does, but um, I think that's a hidden item there, tiny mushroom. Uh, I think it comes in handy a little later. Trying to think. Some thing where you have to where you have to make food or you give some food to a chef or something like that, and they give you money in return. So, yeah, hold on to that until you get to there. Just keep walking here. Nothing there. Pick up the item there. 